Kasi Bharat Vaj. Kasi Bharat Vaj Sutta. This have I heard. On one occasion, the Blessed One was dwelling among the Magathans at Dakinagiri near the Brahmin village Ekanala. Now, on that occasion, 500 plows had been yoked for Brahmin Kasi Bharat Vaj at the time of sowing. Then in the morning, the Blessed One dressed, took his bowl and robe, and went to the place where the Brahmin Kasid Bharadwaja was working. Now on that occasion, the Brahmin Kasid Bharadwaja's food distribution was taking place. The Blessed One then approached the food distribution and stood to one side. The Brahmin Kasid Bharadwaja saw the Blessed One standing for arms and said to him, I plow and sow. Ascetic. Having plow and sown, I eat. You too, ascetic, must plow and sow. And having plowed and sown, you can eat. I too, Brahmin, plow and sow. And having plowed and sown, I eat. But we don't see Master Gautama's yoke or plow or plowshare, gouda oxen. Yet Master Gautama says this, I too, Brahmin, plow and sow, and having plowed and sown, I eat. Then the Brahmin Kasid Bharadvaja addressed the Blessed One in verse. You claim to be a plowman, but we don't see you are plowing. When asked, tell us about your plowing, so that we can understand you are plowing. Faith is the seed, austerity the rain, wisdom is my yoke and plough, moral shame is the pole, mind the yoke strap, mindfulness my ploughshare and goat. Guard in body, guard in speech, control in food and belly, I use truth for weeding and gentleness is my police. Energy is my beast of burden, carrying one towards security from bondage, it goes ahead without turning back, to the place where one does not survive. In such a way this plough is done, which bears that the deathless is its fruit. Having ploughed with this kind of ploughing, one is released from all suffering. Then the Brahmin Kasid Bharadvaja had milk rice poured into a a large bronze dish and presented it to the Blessed One, saying, Let the Master Gautama eat the milk rice. You are a plowman, since you plow with a plowing that bears the deathless as its fruit. The Blessed One Food over which verses have been recited is not to be eaten by me. This Brahmi is not the principle of those who see. The Buddhas reject food over which verses have been recited. Their being such a principle, Brahmin, this is their conduct. So with other food and drink, the consummate one, the great Rishi. One with influx is destroyed, with regret stilled, for he is the field for the one seeking merit. Then the Master Gautama should I give this milk rice to someone else? I don't see anyone in this world, Brahmin, with its Devas, Mara and Brahma. In this population with its ascetic and Brahmins, its Devas and humans, who could eat and properly digest this milk rice, except the Tathagata or the disciple of the Tathagata. Therefore, Brahmin, discard the milk rice where there is a little vegetation or dispose of it in water where there are no living beings. Then the Brahmin Kasid Bharadvaja disposed of that milk rice in a water where there were no living beings. When the milk rice was thrown into the water, it sizzled and hissed and gave off steam and smoke. Just as a plowshare heated all day and then placed in water, sizzled and hisses and gives off steam and smoke, so too that milk rice, 
when thrown into the water, sizzled and hissed and gave off steam and smoke. Then the Brahmin Kazi Barvaj, agitated with her bristling, approached the Blessed One, prostrated himself with his head at the Blessed One's feet, and said to the Blessed One, Excellent, Master Gautama, excellent, Master Gautama. Master Gautama has made the Dhamma clear in many ways, as though he were turning upright what had been overturned, revealing what was hidden, showing the way to one who was lost or holding up a lamp in the darkness so those with good eyesight can see forms. I go for the refuge to Master Gautama, to the Dhamma and to the Sangha of Bhikkhus. May I receive the going forth under the Master Gautama May I receive the full ordination. Then the Brahmin Kasid Bharadwaja received the going forth under the Blessed One. He received full ordination. And not long after his full ordination, dwelling alone, withdrawn, heedful, ardent, and resolute, the Venerable Bharadwaja soon realized for himself with direct knowledge in this very life that unsurpassed consummation of the spiritual life for the sake of which Clansmen rightly go forth from the household life into homelessness, and having entered upon it, he dwelled in it. He directly knew, finished his birth. The spiritual life has been lived. What had to be done has been done. There is no more coming back to any state of being. And the Venerable Bharadwaja became one of the Arahants.